Okay, so we are moving everything out and it's the craziest. Like, check this out. Oh, there it goes. The last little bit of it. I mean, right? Tell me this. Tell me this now, gangsta. Like, come on. So what a week. We're still getting renovations done. That that wall right there, that's renovated. And then <sighs> baby Sky Money's been like terribly sick. He's getting better, he's getting better. And yeah, he was just extremely sick. Like two days ago, it just hit him hard. And then with the moving, we got like stuff everywhere and work. Like it's it, it's been like a roller coaster. So yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but we have stuff like everywhere. Because the one thing, the one thing that sucks about living in Europe is that a lot of places do not have closets, which means you have to go ahead, hit up Ikea, and legit buy you like a big old wardrobe. Like you might want to buy two of them. I actually just put ours back together in the new place. And yeah, it's, it is huge. I miss my old place. <laughs> Now before I log on for work though, I did have a DM asking basically how I did it, how I bought a house, like how's the process of buying a home in the Netherlands. And I'm gonna be real, it was actually fairly simple, I mean and straightforward. I mean because basically for me, I mean me personally, I went ahead and paid a dude to get the other dudes to talk to the other dudes. No, but seriously though, a friend actually recommended a place to me called I think Expact Housing. This is the company to help him buy his place. And they're basically just like real estate agents. So after we got a real estate agent, we then had to get a mortgage broker. Basically the mortgage broker will basically tell you how much you can afford or borrow. And they'll even get everything straightened with you with like with the bank and everything. So my ninjas, you don't even gotta talk to a bank. And now both Expact Housing as well as the mortgage broker also charge fees so you got to count that into like buying the home too as well but yeah it's definitely totally worth it when another weird thing too is that they don't do credit scores here like it's not like the US so my US credit score don't mean nothing here actually no I do think they do have something like credit scores but yeah again it's not really like I don't have any I don't have no credit or anything here excellent credit in the states like mansion size credit but here they're mainly focused on your income and basically since we're together they focus on both our incomes together and that that's how they know how much you can afford or borrow. And then from that moment on, it is just the wild, wild west. You are basically going on Thunder, which is literally like truly in the state. And you are just looking at places and going out to see places that are in your price range. And also when you go to see places, your real estate agent will also go with you so he can tell you like if the foundation, like pimping, the biggest thing you gotta be aware of is foundation issues. Like be aware of that. So it's definitely good to have him around. I mean, huge shout out Ludo, Ludo, you and yeah, from there, it was just a matter of finding the right place, putting a bid on it, and yeah, there you go. That It, it was great. I mean, it was really, really easy. I have noticed a bunch of things that we, we need to like replace or fix. Like this door. Gotta find somebody to come out here and fix the dishwasher. So gotta get someone to come out and seal all of these little cracks because I mean, insulation matters, especially in the winter, like y'all already know. Gotta figure out what to do with this cat door. Gotta find somebody to come out and fix these cracks over here, like seal them up. Look at those cracks. So yeah, the place is not perfect, but I mean, that's not really the reason why I miss my old place. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> but what I do know is that we gotta give a huge shout out to today's coffee sponsors because it helps out the channel a lot. Beat Pimpin' Raymond Linares as well as Linda. And I don't know how to pronounce his name, so I'ma just say E-Money. You know you a boss. Big homie Colin, thank you so much. Steve Hernandez and Peter. And my ninja Edgar Luna. Thank you so much for the coffee. You guys are awesome ninja bosses. And if you wanna buy me a coffee, Pimpin, don't be shy. The link is down below. And if not, you already know, no tea, no shade, cause my hood will never let me be a hater. Nah, man, for real though, thank you so much for the coffee. Yo. So no matter what the title says, buying the new house was not a mistake. Like we're moving everything in the new house and I'm, I miss the old apartment. Like I really do. I don't know why. Obsession. Obsession. All right, you know what, actually, I think I know why. Like I think, and this might sound weird, but I think the reason that I miss it so much and the reason why it reminds me of my first apartment, because like the first apartment, it was like 
it was a struggle getting that last apartment. Like for real, like when I got my first apartment, the, it was so hard to get it because one, I was really young. And then two, it, it was like my first apartment. And then the last reason was simply, I just had a lot going on. I had school, I had work. Like it was just so much going on. And it wasn't like I was getting a roommate. Like I was by myself. Oh man, not for nothing though. This weather right here, this is beautiful weather. I don't care what nobody say. Pippin, pull up if you want it. Everybody could get it. But I love this weather. <laughs> yeah, I was doing this whole thing on my own. So when I got my first apartment, like it was so special to me. It was like, it was just as special as buying my first home. Like it was, it meant a lot to me. And not only because it was my first apartment, but it was just a struggle getting the apartment. Like it was a struggle. And I still remember my rent, y'all, my rent was like 462 or something like that. 462 for a full one bed, like a large one bedroom. Boss! And man, I love this place, man. Like it was, it was amazing for, for me. Like I love this place. And I got this place when I was living in Atlanta. So when I go back to Atlanta to visit, I always find myself just happen to like pass my own apartment, even though it has it's like by nothing that I would go to. Like, I just want to see it. So why was my first apartment here such a struggle? Because pimping, it was a very difficult time. And it was like, I mean, it was like the height of the vid. But yeah, when we moved, it was right when the vid was like at its peak. Meaning we couldn't actually go physically look at the apartment. Instead, what we had to do was hire a company. They would go to all these different apartments and do like these video walkthroughs for us. And man, I cannot tell you like, I cannot tell you how many places that we did not get. And to be real, I don't know why we didn't get them. I mean, we had enough income, everything was in place, but yeah, we got turned down for a lot of these places. Like someone got these places over us like almost every time. And my only reason that I could think of that we wouldn't get the place is because we weren't physically there and we were actually living like in America at the time. So, you know, it's hard to like take someone seriously if they're not even there. Obsession. But then this place, this place, we saw this place. It wasn't even our first pick. It was like our fifth pick out of the list they sent that day. And we just kept like, should we get it? Let's look at this other place first. And we kept doing that, like for real. And then finally, finally, we were like, you know what? Let's just go ahead and try to get this place. And on the dot, we got the place. It, we, we got an answer the same day. Which was very strange too, considering like, the place was amazing. Like it wasn't, it was nothing wrong with this place. It was near the train station, near all the parks and near the city center. But yeah, my ninjas, like the struggle was real because we were like counting down to like day 10 of like us needing to be on a plane and be out. As long as I A treasure lent me from a And also not for nothing, I loved this balcony. I love, I, I love the view. Ah, the view was amazing. The train station was literally right over there. Obsession. really am gonna miss the the old place like for real but I know I, I just know that you just gotta you gotta move on you know <laughs> and his name mimosa <laughs> That's it, that's, that's the place right there. That's that sign right there.
finally time to head my booty home. Hey, that guy has a Super 73. I need that. <laughs> Since it gets dark at like five o'clock now, yeah, it's like super dark. <laughs> Oh man, what a gorgeous place this is, like especially at night, like dang, no matter how cold it is, this place is just beautiful. But anyway, pimpin', that just about concludes the video, so like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And a huge shout out to everybody who bought me a coffee. Thank you again. If you want to be a coffee pimpin', don't be shy to link it down below. But if not, no tea, no shade, y'all already know. I ain't a hater. But no, seriously, I hope you guys did enjoy the vlog. Because it's uh it's it's definitely a bit of a change, you know? Like, yeah, it's uh just gotta just gotta let go and move on. Thanks again, and I will see you guys in the next one. I and I, I ain't even gonna lie, I might actually well, most likely in the next video. I'm probably gonna be back in the States because I gotta go. Yeah, I, I'll explain later. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> so, um, yeah, my, um, my apartment's for sale. Wow.